Wow. What a game that I just watched today. What's going on, guys? It's Tony giving his take. And you see it on the screen. Yes, the Eagles. Super Bowl champions fly. Eagles fly. We have never seen that in our life in terms of Super Bowl champions and the Eagles. They just don't match until now. Congratulations to the Philadelphia Eagles winning the first franchise uh, <clears throat> Lombardi Trophy. Uh, congratulations to Nick Foles winning Super Bowl MVP. Very deserved. Uh, you know what? This game just kind of summarizes the whole NFL. And what I mean by that is the NFL is just so predict unpredictable. Sorry, unpredictable. You know, we saw this Eagle team. They started off hot, like 7-1, and 8-1, and one, and you see Carson Wentz go down. And all of a sudden, everyone's saying, including me, I'm not going to say that I wasn't. Uh, I thought the Eagle season was honestly over. I honestly thought that they would go out in the divisional round, like the first round by. And I put, even said it in my uh, playoff prediction, was, which was completely wrong. I'll own up to that. Um... But yeah, I mean, they beat an Atlanta Falcons team. We're like, okay, you know what? The Atlanta Falcons, you know, they're good. Uh, but are they great? Um, and then they beat the Vikings team. No one expected that. We're like, okay, this is getting a little out of hand. The Eagles in the Super Bowl. Okay, so we're like, oh, no, boys, they're going to be Brady and Belichick. You know, the Patriots are just too good. And then they come out as underdogs again and stun the New England Patriots. You cannot write something better than that, okay? Nick Foles did it all for the team, and he deserves it. You know, he was thinking about quitting football earlier, and I'm glad he didn't because he deserves this. He deserves something like this. He worked hard, and look where it got him. The Philadelphia Eagles are your 2017-2018 NFL champs, and all Philly fans are so happy right now, and I'm happy for them. And as for the Patriots, you know what? You guys played good. Uh, in terms of offense, you guys played great. Yeah, Brady, what do you have, like 450 passing yards? Uh, but when your defense doesn't do anything, uh, they didn't really make that many plays. Obviously, they got one interception, but that's all. I mean, they didn't really do anything else. And um, that defense wasn't stopping Nick Foles whatsoever. Nick Foles was very, very calm, and he had a good IQ throughout the game, and it enabled the Philadelphia Eagles to win the Super Bowl, along with Jay Jai, who, who made a pretty good uh, who who made some pretty good plays, but for the most part, he didn't play that much. I don't know if something happened with his ankle. I don't know what happened. The like Garrett Blunt, uh, he had a touchdown. He played good. Um, everyone, all their running backs, uh, they played good. Uh, the whole Philadelphia Eagle team. Now, this is what I was saying before the Super Bowl. I'd never made a video though about it. The Patriots were the favorites, okay, and it, it does. It doesn't matter if they're the favorites. Um, you never know what's going to happen uh, in the NFL. And today proved it. I mean, uh, Corey Clement, you know, he came out of nowhere. Uh, obviously, Eagle fans know who he is. But, you know, surprising to a lot of us. He had a great game. And um, the Eagles, they're just locked in. Uh, to at least 2020, they have Carson Wentz, Jeffrey, Ertz, uh, Kelsey, Brooks, Cox. They have everybody. So, um their, their core is going to stay intact to at least 2020. And it's going to be <clears throat> very interesting to see uh, what the Eagles do from that point, uh, from this point on. And as for Carson Wentz and his ring, and now some people are deciding whether he deserves it or not. Yes, he deserves it because without him, we don't even know if the Eagles would even be in a position to get the number one seed. We don't know. And I uh, really mentored uh, Nick Foles and really helped him out throughout the whole process. So, yes, he deserves a ring. Though he did not play in the playoffs, he deserves the ring. And um, as for the Patriot fans, you know what? They'll be back. Uh, the Patriots, uh, even though they, they play in a weaker conference, so that definitely does help. Uh, Brady is the greatest player, greatest quarterback of all time. Like, he really is. He threw about for 450 yards passing, three touchdowns or four or whatever it was, but zero interceptions. Flawless gameplay by Tom Brady. And just taking a look at it, I think the problem was the Patriots' defense. I mean, Nick Foles is a good quarterback, don't get me wrong, but he was looking like Joe Montana out there. The Patriots' defense was not playing good whatsoever. Uh, Nick was great. I'll give him his credit. He deserves the MVP, and he's the reason why the Eagles won. Uh, the Super Bowl in general, I mean, it was a high-scoring game. 
and it broke the record in terms of yardage uh, for any game, like regular season, postseason, Super Bowl season. It reached like 1,300 yards or something like that. So we still had our defensive plays every now and then, but this was definitely a top 10 Super Bowl I've ever watched. It was a great, great Super Bowl. Um, You know, the underdogs, the Philadelphia Eagles, and then the Patriots. You know, Patriots didn't necessarily start the season off the way they wanted to, losing to the Chiefs, and then they lost to the Panthers. Their defensive struggles, it really reflected on how their season was. Obviously, they had some games where they played good defense, but for the most part, their defense is average at best, and um, it really did reflect against the Eagles in this Super Bowl. Now, I think the difference between this win, uh, the Eagles and Patriots, yeah, Tom Brady's the better quarterback, but what does Nick Foles have around him compared to Tom Brady? Now, in terms of the pieces, the Eagles' defense is better. Um, You know, they have a running game. I'm not saying the Patriots don't, but the Eagles' running game is significantly better. Uh, They took more time off the clock than the Patriots. They're kind of dominant in the sense that the Patriots were waiting for the Eagles just to be done with their drive. Um, You know, and, um, you know, they have running backs like Jay, Jai, Laguerre, and Blunt. Um, And, you know, the, uh, the stud the unrestricted free agent. I forgot his name. I said it before in this video. I just forgot it. Um, and obviously their offensive line, one of the best, if not the best in the league. I know they had one of those me- one of their members go out. Um, but this Eagle team really took advantage of being the underdog, and they love being the underdog, and they deserve this championship. Uh, what do I expect for the Eagles next year? Better. Um, they're going to have Carson Wentz back. You know, they might start off slow because they're getting adjusted again like every championship do- championship team does. Uh, but you can guarantee that the Eagles will be back in the playoffs next year the way they looked. I mean, it, it was amazing. Um, Nick Foles, he fit in great. Now, we don't know what's going to happen with Nick Foles because it's an interesting situation because I don't think they want to keep Nick Foles off the bench with Carson Wentz starting. They might be trading Nick Foles if Carson Wentz can stay healthy. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. Uh, if Nick Foles will retire, I don't know, because kind of a sticky situation there in terms of quarterbacks, but Eagles played <coughs> Eagles played great. Patriots dynasty is not over. Um, it, they, it didn't show them of stopping anytime soon, you know. You talk about a team that dealt with injuries just like the Eagles, you know. They had Edelman out, Cooks went out early in the game. That's a big deal, you know. I don't know if it was going to be change, game-changing or not, but it's a big deal. It does change somewhat of the game. Um, and the Patriots, you know, they're going to attract free agents like they always do. They're going to sign uh, good players. They're going to make the correct moves in terms of trades. Uh, the Patriots know what they're doing. They're a well-ran organization. It proves, I mean, it just shows why they're five-time world champs. And uh, Tom Brady, I mean, it's not like he played like garbage in the game. In fact, he played one of his best Super Bowl, if not the best Super Bowl performance that we've seen out of him in his entire career. So why would you be concerned as a Patriot fan? You know, every other fan lo- loves it when the Patriots lose, uh, but this is the only chance you'll get to laugh at them now or to celebrate them losing because they're, they don't show any signs of slowing down. The Patriots are probably going to be better next year. And that's scary because Tom Brady just played lights out this game. And uh, the Patriots offensive line did a great job protecting him. I think they only got like one uh, uh, fumble and no no sacks in the entire game. Like it was just great. And if the the Patriots played just decent defense, I think the Patriots would be holding the Lombardi trophy right now. But massive credit to the Philadelphia Eagles. I mean, when they took, when the Patriots took a 33-32 lead or whatever it was in the fourth quarter, I was sitting there and I told everybody, as long as myself, um, I said, when the Patriots take the lead, it's game over. Philadelphia, pack your bags, go back to Philly. Um, But it just shows how... um, resilient they are uh, you know they're hard working they never back down and they didn't lose concentration and that's what's important the eagles they they were focused the whole game we didn't see that out of the atlanta falcons last year and the defense made some plays for the patriots last year um but it, it's just a crazy super bowl uh, this is what i wanted to see uh it was just amazing to see i mean i don't think anybody was expecting this good of a game uh from these two teams I mean, I was sitting out there complaining how the Patriots had no competition. Uh, they do have some, you know. 
Uh, obviously not as much as fear in the N- NFC, but still, they had to versus the Eagles team who was hungry. They wanted this, and I think um, I didn't see that much out of the Patriots. I mean, I, I don't know. Um, but the Patriots dynasty continues, and the Eagles will soon create one, in my opinion. I mean, think about it. They have a bunch of good players to at least 2020. Uh, they're all young. Uh, Carson Wentz, when he comes back, he's going to play at an MVP level again, or if not next year, the year after that. Um, it's just amazing to see. You know, they played through so many distractions. Their franchise quarterback went down, and everyone counted them out. Nick Foles came in. Everyone was um, pretty much counting them out, and Super Bowl MVP. So, great job for the Eagles. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't know what to say. I mean... This, it just shows how unpredictable the NFL is. So you can't really count out any team. You know, I could be sitting here and saying, the San Francisco 49ers are going to be the NFC Championship next year. I could honestly sit here and say that. And it's not necessarily a wrong statement to say. I mean, I think it's possible. We saw how the 49ers ended, but that's just an example. Um, but you never know. Uh, we saw the teams like the Chiefs lose to the Titans in the wild card. We saw the Rams lose to the Falcons in the wild card, which nobody expected. Um... So, uh, we we don't know exactly what's going to happen in these playoffs games. So, uh, even in the regular season, you know, uh, the, you, no one expected the Eagles to be this good. Um, Giants, they got injured. So, uh, yeah, the, the Philadelphia Eagles, in terms of the other team's injuries, it definitely did favor them in, in terms of winning a division. Uh, but they clearly are the best team in the NFC East, and they will be around for a while. All their all their members are hungry. As long as they don't lose too many players in the offseason, they should be good to go for next year. And as for the Patriots, like I said, they're just going to be better next year. You know Tom Brady's going to be hungry for a sixth. He really wants that sixth ring. You know, five's a lot. But having that sixth is just a little bit different than having five. It's kind of like a comparison of Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan. You know, Kobe has five. That's a lot. And nobody's questioning that. But having six, it's just like, dang. Like, that's a ton. Um, So, I think Tom Brady really wants to establish him as the GOAT. I mean, I personally think he is the GOAT, along with a lot of other people that do think so. But I really do think he'll establish him to the as the GOAT to everybody. Uh, when he wins that six, and I can't wait to see till he holds that Lombardi sometime. Uh, but that's all for this video. You guys enjoyed it. Drop a like. What were your guys' um, thoughts on the Super Bowl game? Obviously, I think it's a top 10 game of all time in terms of a Super Bowl. And um, were you guys supporting the Eagles and Patriots and why? And were you guys happy with the outcome or mad? And uh, did you guys enjoy watching that game? Because that's more important. Because I mean, there are only two teams in the Super Bowl. And we're not all fans of the Eagles or Patriots. So I just wanted to see good football. I didn't really care who won. Obviously, I was supporting the Eagles just a little bit more. Just to seeing new teams win. New, young, hungry teams win. Um, and I'm glad they did. So yeah. Like the video. Comment down what you guys thought. And subscribe for more. Alright guys. See you guys later. Peace out.